Welcome to Sage Audio. Today we're covering how to mix vocals in FL Studio. But first, if you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Equalizing Male Vocals For these first six chapters, let's work on a vocal recording from a male singer and use only stock plugins. I'm going to start with an EQ, with which I'll use a high pass up to right before the fundamental. Then I'll use a bell to balance the area of the low passes cutoff. Use two bell filters to boost the fundamental and valves respectively, and then dip some nasal tones. Lastly, I'll boost a higher ordered harmonic above 2 kHz to increase presence, and then add air with a shelf at 20 kHz and a Q value that decreases the band to unity by 10 kHz. Let's take a listen to how these curves clarify the vocal. What would I do without you in my life? You blew my mind, you stole my eyes. I don't wanna leave, please keep me on your side. Multiband compress male vocals. Next, I'm gonna wanna compress the vocal, but since FL Studio offers the convenient multiband compressor, I'll use it as opposed to a typical one. I'll compress the lows and mids and use the high band to DS the vocal, which for male vocals should be around 7 kHz. I'll achieve a few dB of attenuation on each band and set the release for each band to right above what would cause distortion to the waveform. So above 50 milliseconds for the lows, 40 milliseconds for the mids, and 10 for the highs. Let's listen to the vocal with controlled dynamics and de-essing. What would I do without you in my life? You blew my mind, you stole my eyes. I don't wanna leave, please keep me on your side. If you're enjoying the video, hit the like button. It helps us bring you more videos. Using Maximus on vocals. Since the male vocal's fundamental is low, first I'm gonna lower my mids to separate the processing on my fundamental and second ordered harmonic. I'll use the same technique for my release that I used in the last chapter, and then very subtly increase the midpoint of each band. This is gonna increase the volume of each band from the noise floor up, but in a tasteful way since it's only being increased slightly. Lastly, I'll add a little saturation to fill in the vocal. Let's take a listen and notice how the vocal has a lot more detail. What would I do without you in my life? You blew my mind, you stole my eyes. I don't wanna leave, please keep me on your side. Fruity delay for thickening. I'm gonna use this delay to thicken my vocal right before reverb, so I'll set a quick delay of under 10 milliseconds use moderate feedback, and isolate the reflections to below 5 kHz. Then I'll introduce subtle modulation to make it more complex and reduce the wet output to blend in the effect. I'm also going to add some saturation to the delay taps to increase harmonics and control their dynamics, making them easier to hear. Let's listen and notice how this thickens the vocal. What would I do without you in my life? You blew my mind, you stole my eyes. I don't wanna leave, please keep me on your side. Only a small percentage of people that watch our videos are subscribed, so if you're enjoying the video, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. Fruity Reverb on Male Vocals I wanna use this reverb both stylistically and practically, so first, I'm gonna increase the pre-delay to let the transient of my vocal through, which retains intelligibility. I'll increase the room size to my preference, introduce very subtle modulation, and isolate the reflections to right above sibilance. With early reflections, I'll make the vocal sound denser, similar to the delay from our last chapter. The more stylistic sound is going to come from the wet signal, which will be the longer reflections. Let's listen and notice how this reverb gives the vocal a pleasant sound and an identity that's unique. What would I do without you in my life? You blew my mind, you stole my eyes. I don't wanna leave, please keep me on your side. Three band EQ and parallel processing. Last up for the male vocal demonstration, I'm gonna use this three band EQ at the end of my chain to shape the vocal. I wanna dip some of the lows and balance the mids, but also bring some clarity and air out with the high frequency shelf. Then I'll use these wet dry dials to the right of each insert to blend the effect in, essentially creating parallel processing. Let's listen to the full before and after of the processing that we created. What would I do without you in my life? You blew my mind, you stole my eyes. 
Equalizing female vocals. For these last four chapters, let's use the same processors that we used for the male vocal recording, but adjust them to accommodate a female vocal performance. Starting with EQ, you'll notice that the high pass is situated higher. This is due to a higher frequency fundamental for the song, which will usually be the case with a female vocal recording. Similarly, my fundamental bell, vowel bell, nasal tone cut, and presence will all be higher. The air frequencies will stay the same, but as you can see, higher pitch singing results in higher frequencies that we need to pay attention to. Let's take a listen to how this curve affects the vocal. If you're enjoying the channel, join the community with the link in the description. Multiband Compress Female Vocals Next, I'm going to use the multiband compressor in a similar way to Chapter 2, but make some changes due to the higher frequencies that are being sung. First, I want to increase the low band so that my fundamental and second-ordered harmonic are processed separately. Then, I'll set my releases to 30 milliseconds, 20 milliseconds, and 10 milliseconds to avoid distortion. Since the frequencies are higher, we can use a faster release time without distorting the waveform. Let's take a listen to the vocal with controlled dynamics. Boy, you came to me, I'll be gonna miss, and I'm missing this, you ruined my life. Maximus on female vocals. Again, I'm gonna use Maximus to increase the detail of the vocal, but this time I'm gonna shift the bands upward and affect the release times like we did in the previous chapter. The vocal has a little too much transient, so I'll enable linear phase mode, which reduces them slightly. Although this is a little unorthodox, you can use any linear phase mode on a somewhat sharp sounding vocal to smooth out the transients due to the delay compensation needed to make it work. Let's take a listen and notice how the vocals become more detailed, and in this case, a little smoother with the linear phase enabled. Boy, you came to me, I'll be gonna miss, and I'm missing this, you ruined my life. Delay, reverb, EQ, and parallel processing. Last up, I'll insert delay and reverb just like I did in chapters 4 and 5. Now you won't notice much of a difference between the temporal processing used on male and female vocal recordings. I'll use the three band EQ to dip the lows, smooth the mids, and boost some of the highs. Lastly, I'm going to listen carefully and blend in or out any effect that I have too little of or too much of, making it easy to find just the right amount of processing now that I have a perspective of how the vocals are going to sound almost finished. Let's take a listen to the full before and after of this vocal being processed. Boy, you came to me, I'll be gonna miss, and I'm missing this, you ruined my life. If you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching.